Okay, so I guess it's that time of the week again. That of course means it is Dreamhanger's time. And I have selected a comment here coming from Rogatka. So Rogatka writes, Hello, I'm a semi free to play player with level six robots and level eight weapons who peaked at Champion League. But in the past week, I've dropped down to master one. I was wondering what adjustments should I make to my hangar to keep up with the higher leagues? Here's my hangar so far. Okay, so we have the Ravana, uh, the Aphian, the Fenrir, Scorpion, Kyuri. Uh, looks like there's mention of a Revenant build and uh, no mention of a Titan. So I'm going to go with the Indra uh, for this lineup. Uh, but before I get started, something I should mention as well, because I noticed uh, you reach Champion League and you kind of slip down to Master 1. One thing you have to kind of understand about the league system is that it's trying to place you in the right league. So you might kind of peak at Champion League and then fall back down. Don't get discouraged because all it means is that you're just not ready yet. Uh, that could be in the form of your hangar. It could be also experience level. Um, so I wouldn't stress out about that. Um, but we'll take a look at this hangar. Um, so far, you can see we do have the uh, Ravana here with the Havocs. So I have uh, two nuclear amplifiers last stand. Um, we have the White Art drone, which I think uh, you had uh, mentioned you have on your Ravana. Um, I also have the Sharpshooter for the Havoc. Now, I know some players uh, don't quite agree with uh, using this. I tend to use the Sharpshooter mostly because sometimes there's a play on the uh, you know outer uh, ranges of that 200 meter range uh, for the Havoc. And I find, you know, in that case, this kind of does help. Okay, so that's my reasoning behind it. Um, but if you prefer to use another skill like a Master Gunsmith, I think, which I don't have on here, you know, that might be another option or even Mechanic. Um, so that's uh, something you could go with. Um, we have the Aphian with the Scorches. I'm going to be trying out, um, you know, kind of a high risk, high reward kind of build here for this. Um, nuclear Amplifier, two overdrives uh, with the Unstable Conduit, uh, the Shy Drone. And I believe you mentioned you have the Elizabeth Green. Okay, so I'm trying to boost that damage up as much as possible because this build is uh, a build that doesn't really have sustained damage. Uh, so I want to make sure that, you know, when I hit the enemy, I hit them really hard uh, with this build. Uh, we have the uh, Fenrir with the Hammer and Mace. Okay, so I think you mentioned you had the Reviver drone on here with the Bernadette Wolf. Uh, so I'm going to be trying that out. We'll see how it does. Okay, and uh, we have the Scorpion with uh, Sonic Weapons. Okay, so two Nuclear Amplifier, Last Stand, uh, the White Art Drone. Okay, so I'm trying to really boost that damage up. You know, if you're going to teleport, you got to make it count. So that's kind of where we're going with that. Uh, we also have the Kyrie with Brissons. Okay, so very similar to the Aphian. Uh, but in this case, uh, we have the Trixie Hope and also the Shy. Uh, obviously, things might change in the second half. Uh, so for the ones who aren't familiar with the uh, dream hangers basically what i do is uh, in this case i take uh, Rogatka's hanger and i build it up uh, you know according to what he has he or she i should say uh, has mentioned and then um, you know i try to optimize things as best as i can you know based on the specs we run a couple of games and then i showcase the best game which highlights the hanger and then you know through that process i'm trying to figure out where the weakness is uh, you know both composition wise uh, also build wise and then in the second half, I go in and I start to optimize things. Uh, that could be, you know, basically, you know, changing the weapon setup tabs, the modules, uh, could even be the pilot or pilot skills. This way, uh, you know, that player or players who have similar hangers or builds uh, can learn from it. And, you know, if they are building something and they're finding that, you know, in this video, it doesn't really work, they might change course because of, uh, you know, some of my recommendations. So it's really trying, you know, basically to help players out, um, you know, by streamlining the whole process. And, uh, you know, by doing that, you don't waste your resources and your time uh, into something that, uh, you know, even at max level may not actually work. Okay, so that aside, we're going to drop into a game here and we're going to see how we do with Rogatka's lineup. I'm going to actually attack this guy here. I'm not sure what he's in. Get him down to his last stand. Let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff back there. And it looks like they might have... Is that an Archer? What is this guy in? This Nightingale's... Uh, he's suppressing me. I'm going to have my ability soon. Let's just use the heal. He's going to be landing right in front of me. I can see the eyeball. 
There we go. Uh oh, candy bullets. This is the thing with the scorpion. So you see how long I have to wait for my ability. And that's the only time that the scorpion's really, really strong. Okay, I'm gonna maybe uh, try to lock this guy down. We're just gonna attack this guy. I do have the whiteout on here, so it might help. He can't go into flight. Just try to deal damage to this player. There we go. Oh, you know what? We may have to go uh, for this beacon over here. Looks like they're going to get it, right? Did they get it? Okay, I'm going to... I think I'm going to target this guy here because he is on that beacon. This will disable him. I hope. He's almost dead. Almost um oh that's bad okay that's really bad um i'm gonna drop in let's use the fenrir oh i think we got him we got him perfect hmm i actually wanted to get that curry he has the thing is he has um the subduers on there Okay, I locked down the, the Typhon. I'm going to try to make a push here, I think, for this side. But I'm worried about that Kyuri. That Kyuri is behind me somewhere, right? He's in our spawn. At least I'm on this beacon. Oh, come on. Look at his shield. Come on. Are you for real? There we go. Okay, I locked this guy down. Looking behind me. I would say Red Team is in a lot of trouble. They've given up pretty much all their beacons. I really don't want to go for another beacon. I I actually really don't want to heal up either, but I, I should. Just get rid of that guy. use a heal now trying to lock those players down they're gonna make a titan push here though trying to get that hades okay so it looks like we are starting to lose beacons this is a bad thing to say but that's kind of good because now i can start dropping in with the other bots uh, let's use the curie Waiting for this uh, Luchador's ability to wear off here. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this uh, Curie build. I find that it fires really slow. This might be a Titan here. I'm not sure. What is this guy in? I'm going to need help from my teammates. Okay, so he's on the beacon. There we go. You know what actually helped? Me having that whiteout drone, I think, helped. Oh, you know what? I think we're actually starting to bot out here. This is not good. Jeez, all these titans. You know what? I think I'm going to make a push for another beacon here. Uh, yeah, when you see that, you wanna you wanna push the other beacons. The only thing is, I used all my <laughs> all of my ability, but I do have a last stand, so I might be able to uh, might be able to change this. I don't want to use my um, my aegis. Okay, so at least we got that beacon. That's gonna force him to overreact. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I can drop in over here. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm going to be dead. There's no ways. I don't have a last stand on this thing. We have a last stand, but it's the shite. <laughs> okay, we're going to drop in. Let's drop in over here. He's almost dead. Got him. And now we need to take care of this guy. Wait, is that a Titan? No, it's not. This game's actually very close right now. I gotta be careful here how we do this. I'm trying to help with the Titans because I think the Titans are gonna be a problem. Okay, so I'm seeing quite a few uh, changes I'm going to probably make uh, to this lineup for sure. Um, so for example, the Kyori and I think the Afian. I think if we get rid of this Rook, that's going to open the, uh, the doorway. Okay, we got him. Get rid of this guy. <laughs> That's poor Amanda. <laughs> we need to push that other side. Wait, wait, wait. We're giving up our beacon here. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is definitely not good. I think we're going to end up losing. We're down to only two players, two or three. We can't give up that beacon. The thing is, this guy has a harpy. This is why you don't have too many of those kinds of bots in your lineup. You can't hold down beacons at all. Okay, so I'm going to get this back, but I can't. They're going to get the bottom after I just got it. I'm running beacons in an Indra right now. This is not good at all. Okay, there we go. We have more players than they do, but we will lose if we don't get our beacons here. Um, Let's just do that. I have to push this last one. Four's not going to be enough. Got him. Okay, let's move this way. My gosh, that was close. I mean, technically, we could still lose if we give up our beacons. They might have fewer players, but they can definitely still win. Yeah, he's going to go for this beacon in front of me. Got him. Nope. Don't have him yet. Onto the beacon. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to make quite a few changes here to this lineup. Okay, so we ended up doing 7.4 million, 10 kills, 7 beacons, and this is how we stacked up. And uh, what I'm going to do now, we're going to go in and start to optimize the build. Um, I think I've seen some of the weaknesses, uh, especially in the Curie and, you know, the Afian to some extent. Uh, but definitely the Curie. I think we can uh, really optimize that. And I might throw in the Revenant as well. Okay, so as for the changes, I actually made quite a few changes to this lineup. Uh, as far as the Ravana goes, we don't have the Whiteout drone. We have the Beak now. Um, the reason why I picked the beak is because I want to see how it performs uh, with the stealth and the additional damage. Um, you know, whether it works, uh, we'll see. Uh, so that was one change I made to the Ravana. We had the Fian in the last, uh, you know, game. Uh, this time I'm going to try the Revenant because the Revenant actually received a buff. Okay, so... We have the Ember and Blaze. I think Rogatka mentioned hammer and cudgel but i'm gonna try to uh, diversify the weapons a little bit uh, just in case okay so we're gonna see how this actually does we have nuclear amplifier two mutant amplifiers i have the paralysis this is gonna allow me to lock players down okay so we have on repair unit damage on repair unit defense 
Uh, that's a reason why I'm not using Unstable Conduit as well. So I'm not sure if you guys caught that. Um, it would be ideal to use the Raphael pilot, uh, which is designed more for flames. But I think in the long term, this pilot is actually better. Uh, because let's just say you were to level up the Raphael pilot and then you decide like Sonic weapons actually work better. Well, if you have the flamethrower pilot, you're going to lose out on that skill. Whereas if you had used this pilot, uh, it doesn't really matter which weapon you go with. Okay, so I would uh, stick with this pilot. Uh, we're going to try out the flame uh, thrower build. Uh, the Fenrir, I didn't change the weapons. Um, I did change the uh, modules though. I'm going to try out two balance unit, which we don't really see in today's uh, meta. Um, but the reason why I'm going to try this out is because this is going to give me increased damage and durability. Okay, but I'm going to combine that with the Shy Drone. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, counterbalance things. Uh, we have the Bernadette Wolf. I didn't change any of these pilot skills. Uh, the Scorpion, um, I actually want to try it with the Kestrel. Okay, so at the time of this recording, I believe the Kestrel has now changed. Uh, if we look at the description here, so it actually has on stealth fix. Okay, so um, it repairs a companion robot's uh, durability when the robot activates stealth. Uh, so we have a bit of a heal with this, on kill speed, additional damage, and the death mark. So I want to see if it works with the, you know, Scorpion instead of using the White Art drone. I want to see how that actually does. Uh, so everything else I think is the same. I think this build's going to be actually even stronger here than the White Tot. Okay, so with the Curie, I made quite a few changes because I was finding that the Brissant weapon was firing very slow. And the Curie itself was actually going down very quickly. Uh, so we have punches on this thing. Uh, you could also use uh, Redeemers, uh, Hammers, if you have Subduers or Ultimate Avengers. Those are all really good choices uh, for the Curie. Okay, so we have a Nuclear Amplifier, two Balance Unit this time. I want to see how it works, uh, similar to the Fenrir build, Advanced Repair. We have the Seeker Drone in case I run into a lot of uh, links. Uh, so I think this is going to help with that. And uh, also locking them down, of course. We have this pilot over here. Uh, so I think uh, the previous hangar, I had uh, the uh, Trixie Hope. Okay, so I think this pilot is a lot better. Uh, obviously because it uh, you know affects the um, you know Curie's ability so it charges up quicker we're gonna try it out with that and I think those are the main changes I didn't make any changes to the uh, Indra and uh, also I'm not sure if I showed the mothership uh, so I am using the Paladin okay so yeah we're gonna run a couple of games now uh, you know using the adjusted hangar and uh, we're gonna see if it actually makes any difference as far as uh, you know the games go this guy is going to be landing in front of us. Actually, no, wait. He's not landing. This other guy's really close. I'm going to teleport here. Let's try to get this to work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good. But <laughs> he wasn't looking good either. That was a Curie, by the way. The thing is, do these guys have Shen Lows? There's a guy above us here. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack maybe one of these guys. This guy here. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this guy better go into flight. Okay, I'm, I'm in trouble now because I can't escape. But man, we did a lot of damage with that. That was actually pretty impressive. The thing is, is it worth... Sacrificing the white art for that uh, Kestrel. I don't know. I think, you know, it could really go either way. I'm just looking to see where my teammates are. We're going to drop in over here with the Revenant. Really kind of interested to see how this is going to go. Oh, shoot. I almost thought this guy was going to go into the gorge because I would have followed him. Flame these guys up. Revenant seems really tanky now. I know they I know they buffed it. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use a actually wait, I shouldn't have healed. I just realized. Well, we took out a player. 
Might, e might even take out this Octo, actually. This guy's getting roasted. Oh my gosh. Man, I can't use my heal yet. I got hit by Rust. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna have to use it now. I have no choice. I mean, we're still... We're still doing, uh, actually, a lot of damage. We have quite a bit of health left, too. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna get onto this beacon here. Let's do that. We're fighting for that beacon. Uh, not sure what... Okay, so we have two blue players protecting, but they're not exactly on the beacon. Um, I think I'm gonna drop in with a Ravana. There we go, nice. Okay, we have one problem. Red team is pushing the bridge, and <laughs> they're coming in numbers here. Uh, but we do have a Rook. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make my way over. He's turning... No, no, wait. Don't... Oh, this guy's gonna... He's gonna leave the, the beacon here. Um, okay, let's go for the... The Fenrir. Let's do that. Let's go for this one. There we go. Oh, you know what? We might end up losing the uh, top beacon there. Oh, Jesus, guy. <laughs> Behemoth. Thing is, he's trying... He's going into his mode, but I'm using my transcendence. He's almost dead. One more shot. There we go. Um... You know what? We have to ditch here. What is going on over here? Okay, let's use the Kyuri. This might be kind of risky though. So this one I have the balance units on. Gonna be interesting to see how this works. I'm gonna use a heal here just in case. Trying to really focus him down. Do that. There we go. Oh my gosh, we actually did really well with this too. Um, I can't heal just yet. Hold on. You know what? I I notice a huge improvement with this um with this Curry build. It's very, very good at charging up your mothership. Try to lock down that, uh, that party. Okay, so that was actually a really good run, uh, with this lineup. I like the changes so far. That Revenant build really surprised me. Um, so I think, uh, you know, that buff to the Revenants definitely uh, worth checking out. Uh, but 6.7 million, 11 kills, 3 beacons, and this is how we stacked up. So thank you very much to Regatka for your dream hangar. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay for it. And once again, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next dream hangers video, I'll catch you guys later.